I saw a system completely overwhelmed for no good reason. Our laws are set up such that if you can bring a small child to America coming from Central America, we can only hold the child for 20 days. Then we let the entire family go because we don't want to separate families. We can't prosecute, uh, process, uh, process a case in 20 days. What did I see? 52,000 people have been released into the interior of the United States from this one Border Patrol area alone. What did I see? A system about to break. I saw brave men and women who are doing an incredible job under difficult circumstances, and I'm going to introduce a resolution next week praising them, the men and women of the Border Patrol and their allies. I saw 900 uh, illegal immigrants that were captured for coming into our country illegally, uh, housed in detention facilities that was meant for 385, so they had to put a tent in the back. What I saw is a bunch of people have been here before, broke the law before, and we're not going to let them go. I don't care if they have to stay in these facilities for 400 days, we're not going to let those men go that I saw. It would be dangerous. And I also saw that 60 different nations uh, are sending people here illegally. We caught people from Iran, Syria, uh, every place in the world, they're coming through our border. Yeah, they're coming from Bangladesh as well, right? Bangladesh, a, yeah, yes. Bangladesh, you've got the Middle East. So let, let's take a look at what you just said. You said that the the, the, the detention centers were meant to hold under 400 uh, people, and there's actually right. 900 people in there. These pictures are some of the pictures that have unnerved people like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, the Democrats who say, look, we have these people behind bars. You say what to those people who are looking at these adult men who are behind bars because they broke the law, they came into this country illegally. All of them broke our law. Many of, them, many of them have done it before, and we're not going to let them go. This is not a concentration camp that I saw. It is a facility overwhelmed. Uh, I'm willing to buy beds for these people so they'll have a better place to get a night's sleep, but I'm not going to let them go.